Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video on the Black Hawk holster for the Beretta 92FS. This is a leather one that goes inside the waistband. So, before we get into this, this is my Beretta 92FS. As you can see, there's no magazines in it. The gun is safe. There's nothing in the chamber. So, I have this to show you how it fits. As you can see, the fit is really good. Okay? There's no wobbling down here at this end. And this has a lot of nice features that we will go into now. One nice feature is that this retention screw right here, you can tighten down and get as much or as little retention as you want. Now another nice thing that you can do is this here's the belt loop. There is Velcro underneath right here. And what you do is there's a screw right here. Okay, so what you do is you take a flathead screwdriver, take, loosen that, and you can adjust this for whatever angle you want, and then you tighten it back down. Now one thing I definitely recommend is lock tight both of these screws down. Okay. I, when I was wearing this holster, uh, this one here actually came out within the first day. Uh, luckily, it wasn't bad. I easily found the screw, but I quickly learned to Loctite that screw down. And with this one right here, I was wearing the holster, took it off for a while for my martial arts class, and when I went to go put it back on after class, the snap wouldn't snap back down. And I'm, I was pushing it and pushing it. And I was trying to figure out, you know, was the snap broken? No, it wasn't broken. I just took a, a look at it and I realized that that screw had backed out. So, no big deal. Drop some Loctite in there, the blue Loctite, not the red. The red is way too permanent. Uh, put it in there, make sure it's the way you need it to be, uh, follow the instructions, and you'll be good to go. Another nice thing is, as you can see, the belt loop is nice and big. It's big enough for a one and three quarter inch belt to fit through, and as you can see, there is no fit issues. Now, another nice thing about this holster is this belt loop can be adjusted for whatever angle you want. So I carry this appendix, but you can adjust to the cant so that you can wear it back here. You can wear a cross draw. You can basically wear it any way that you want. But I ran this thing appendix and it uh, worked great. Now one thing is as you can see when you're putting it in the holster, if you carry it with the safety off, it's going to catch right on the leather. That's not a huge deal as you put it away. What I just do is I use my thumb like this and push it in. Now from this angle, as you can see, I use my thumb and I just push it in just like that. Not a big deal at all. Now the leather will take the shape more of your gun as you use it. So that's another nice thing about this. And as you can see, that was with the safety off. If you carry with the safety on, it works great for that too. So that's another nice thing about this holster. Another nice thing about this holster is that it really does give good support for such a big and heavy gun. Now, I will say this too though. Another important thing is if you're gonna carry something this big, okay, then you're going to want a good belt. So that is one thing to keep in mind, get a good holster, get a good belt, and that will give you uh, a lot of support. I start off with a cheap holster that I made, it really wasn't the greatest of quality, and a belt that I made, and both of them, they broke in way too much over time and just did not give enough support. Uh, this holster in combination with the belt that I use now gives plenty of support. One thing I will say is that if you're using this to carry your gun appendix, then, you know, if 
for whatever reason during your day you have to pick something up to carry it then under your shirt this can hook because as you can see there is some material here and unsnap so uh, if the snap was a little bit stiffer it wouldn't really have this problem but I mean you know uh, that's something that I guess you know some people would complain you know maybe it's got it too much pulled maybe it's not enough you know it's kind of hard to please everyone with that but that would definitely be nice in my opinion if it held a little bit snugger than that don't get me wrong this is pretty good but you know it just would be nicer if it was a little bit stronger in my opinion another nice thing about this holster is that it is made in Italy and a cool thing is that right there it tells you a lot of the information about the holster uh, the holster type the Black Hawk website which size this is because they make this for many different sizes of gun and styles of gun what it'll fit which right here it says bred in 92 and 96 it says made in Italy and I'm gonna guess this is when it was made at the factory at, right at the absolute bottom I know you probably couldn't see it very well but it says for 2015 so there you go you can see all the info right there all in all I say for what you're getting it is definitely worth the money it's really nice another thing I like is that this is black okay I like black holsters because to me you know it's a holster it's not a fashion accessory so it doesn't need to be all these fancy colors you know it's just a holster and in my opinion I like black holsters because it just helps for everything to blend in black holster black belt you know uh, I even wear a lot of times a black shirt under my t-shirt and with the black gun it really helps everything to blend in nicely so you know so concealment of something like this isn't that big of a deal now this one here is the right hand model but they also do make a left-handed model if you do need the left-handed version uh, another nice thing just to show you this is as you can see the holster is cut right here so as you grab right there perfect perfect for you to get a grip your gun and pull it out another nice thing about this is as you can see the holster isn't too long okay it's an open-end design and the barrel sticks out a little bit not a big deal but the holster I made I tried to take from here and make the leather go up like this and then down this way so it was kind of shaped like that and I thought it looked nice it definitely you know closed the end of the holster which you know I thought was an awesome thing but then as I was carrying it it was poking me in the leg poking me in the groin it just it wasn't pleasant so I ended up cutting that one just like this uh, so this one here though is already to that shape so that's another awesome thing is it's already perfect shape in my opinion in fact as you can see this here is already rounded so that you know if you're if you do carry appendix it basically already follows the contour of your body instead of having something like a straight you know shape right here it co goes in a little bit and that's good now I suppose you could say that if they cut it to go like this then you know it could be even better uh, I like the extra reinforcement right here and it's really not a big deal as I said this actually carries really well with that shape and I carry my Beretta 92 FS every day appendix so one quick thing to note about the different levels of retention is this is the really the loosest level of retention because I I don't like it when it's really really hard to pull out and as you can see it's still holding fairly well it's not coming out you know if I shook it even then there you go now it came out but it's not just going to fall out on the loosest retention level because 
as you can see, it's a really nice mold of the firearm. I hope this was helpful and informative. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya!